Can you grab the other end of this? I asked from inside the back of the moving truck, standing at one end of a dark brown couch. We were almost done moving everything in. Ford and Dom had just carried in my king-size bed frame and mattress, which barely fit through the doorway. Once we got the couch inside, there were just a few more boxes. Then Sam and I would take a break, probably on this very couch, before we started unpacking. Let me and Dom carry this, Ford said. I shrugged and bent to pick my end up. If I got it into the truck with Sam, I'm pretty sure I can get it into the house with you. He lowered his brows and shook his head. I don't want you to hurt your back. I knew he was being a gentleman, but I didn't like being told I couldn't do things because I was a woman. It was something I'd fought my own family over for years. Just pick it up and let's go, I said. He looked unsure, but said, at least let me be the one going backward. We switched places, my hand accidentally grazing over his sweaty, defined ab muscles, making my stomach somersault. I'd never been with a man with a body like his before. I glanced at the couch, wishing I could be wrapped around Ford on it instead of carrying it with him. But at least I could enjoy the view. My new neighbor was clearly committed to his fitness routine. Ready? He asked, bending down. Yep. We lifted it up, and I held in my groan. This thing was heavy. Sam and I had taken at least 20 breaks while loading it onto the truck, and we'd rested for five minutes afterward. I was not committed to a fitness routine. Every muscle in my body would be screaming at me tomorrow. You okay? Ford asked as he walked down the ramp backward. Great, I managed, my voice strained as I held onto the couch for dear life.